Hello and welcome back to Bringing It Home. I'm James from Bespoke Airsoft and in this episode we're taking a look at the brand new Golden Eagle shotguns which are the version 2 gas shotguns. We'll get right to it. First of all, a history lesson, and I love doing these, um, tracing back where these products actually come from. So, in terms of gas airsoft shotguns, Tokyo Maruri released the 870, uh, which is a very good platform. Amount of aftermarket upgrade parts for that now are absolutely ridiculous. There's loads you can do to it as well. Um, along come Sekita many years later and produce a gas shotgun or so you would see uh, that doesn't cost as much comes with more accessories out of the box you know is much much more affordable compared to the Tokyo Marui uh, M870 but there were many that said they had a lot of issues with that platform now Sekita don't actually make the shotguns themselves they come from if you trace it all the way back from Jingong, Jingong, or whatever they're calling themselves now, produce these shotguns, Sekita basically put their brand to them, put a bit of this, that, and the other on the boxes and such forth, and released it as a Sekita Velites, I think it is, was called. Uh, we actually stocked those shotguns when they first came out. We were very lucky to have very little problems with that. I think we may have had one or two that were leaking from the distributor which went back and got replaced and then after that we had no issues whatsoever. Um, if you're in the States, these shotguns will come under, I think it's JAG Precision or JAG Arms, I'm not too sure. But basically boiled down to it, they're made by Jingong, they're a copy of the M870 but then what they do is they they take a, a design like the Tokyo Marie M870 design, they copy it and then they do a little bit here and there to make it you know, perhaps a little bit more desirable or um, a little bit more suave shall we say a few more variants uh, but they are a lot more affordable compared to the TM870 because especially with the M870s that they did um, you could get a gas shotgun with an M4 stock um, which had the gas tube in it um, for cheaper than what you could buy the Tokyo Maru shotgun on its own um, and if you were buying a Tokyo Maru M870 I had one um, it was a very good shotgun. I think the gas M4 stock extension without a grip or a stock cost me about £150 on top of what I was spending. I think I went with the Angry Gun one and then you've got to buy a grip and a stock and then there's other upgrades and stuff you can buy. So thank you very much for staying with this series. I've heard some great feedback from you guys. I'm hoping the lighting situation is sorted out now because the last few videos that we did for Salient Arm stuff um, the I was just really really bright I think it was uh, the ISO setting on the camera so I've dialed that down a bit you'll have to let me know if it's better but I'm sure I'll see it in the editing anyway and the other one was uh, in regards to the range and stuff that we use obviously I'm very limited bringing it home I normally do these on the night um, as to what I can use obviously you've got the garage and the utility that run on the length of the house which is just over 10 meters which is, is good for a certain thing but Getting into these shotguns today, we're not going to be doing a chrono or range test because, well, I'll get into that in just a moment. The other thing on Saint Arms Week, uh, one guy said he wanted to look at the boxes a bit more, so all the boxes are pretty much the same. We've got four variants here. This to be the shortest one, and it comes in a nice orange and grey style box here. You've got Golden Eagle. These are still coming out of the Jingong factory, whether they're Jingong or Golden, Golden Eagle, I'm pretty sure they maybe are. Um, but these, the difference in these ones are they are the new version 2, I am told. So what I think they've done is they've took a lot of the feedback that the Sekita shotguns had, maybe the issues, this, that and the other, brushed it up a little bit, um, you know, sweetened the QC, not massively, obviously it's JG, but, uh, you know, improved on the design a little bit, probably made them a little bit better, released them under their own little brand Golden Eagle, and you know we're getting these shotguns again at around about the same price but they're version 2 so they're supposed to be better so the first one you'll see here this is the box so these are the samples that I have been sent we flip this open here 
and this variant having in front of me is the shortest one that they do um, which is like a sawn off 870 style we've got a pack of BBs in there you can throw them in the bin straight away don't use them they're going to be absolutely rubbish you've got a jamming rod you get a speed loader to load your shells with uh, and although the samples that I have here come with three shells the retail versions of these shotguns I am told come with six shells so what you'll find there is you're taking the shotgun out of the box you've got six shells all you need to do is put gas in these things and BBs and you're, you're ready to go aren't you I suppose so nicely packaged foam in there we'll get the little one out because we're gonna have to get all these shotguns out anyway like I said we've got four models to look at although they do five the only difference in the fifth one is that it's the short type but they do it in black as well as the, uh, the dark earth town style color that they do there so let's shut this box I hope you're satisfied with the box review because let's face it you open these things you get the gun out you took the box away you put it in the cupboard to sit there uh, thinking that you'll keep it for when you sell the gun or move the gun on which then you'll put the gun in the box to sell it and pass that on to the new owner but then what you find is you end up selling them with a case or you just sell, sell them as it is and just like myself you go through cupboards like I did the other day and found about seven or eight different boxes for guns that I've owned perhaps about five or six years ago and you're thinking do I need, still need these boxes let's quick have a quick look inside and see if there's any accessories still in there that I forgot to take out and then you sort of thinking to do a contact all the owners that I sold these guns to to pass on those bits to them because they probably want them or maybe they don't want them and then you put those bits to one side to which they sit in your kitchen or your living room and then your missus gets antsy and gives you a load of crap about them being all over the place to which they end up just going in the bin but uh, oh did I uh, spaz out there for a second so the first model I've got here like I said comes in two colours it is a shorty variant of the 870 as you see here it's got gassing because I was messing around with it earlier but it's unloaded don't panic uh, I'm more than competent enough to <laughs> play with these guns. Um, so you'll see very sim much similarities for the 870s in the Secutor design. You've got the 870 style receiver here. This one you've got a short barrel and a short uh, loading tube here. Nice fold out um, grip there. We'll, st we'll make it easy, we'll go back to front on all these models. We've got a polymer style grip here which the gas tank is housed in. We've got a metal receiver, we've got a metal trigger guard, metal trigger, metal dust cover there or fake bolt or whatever you want to call it, metal out barrel, mess, uh, mess, metal uh, loading tube here which normally just has like a spring in there so you can store shells in the front. What I suggest with all these models is you unscrew that, you take the spring out, you throw it away because all it will do is rattle, especially on the bigger models. You've got metal loading arms here and on the shorty version you've got a metal folding foregrip. Now this to me is probably one of the uh, variants that I would choose myself normally. Uh, Secutor did release a small version of it and we loved them but they ended up selling out before I had time to play with them. So this is very cool, great for CQB, this would be a great secondary or tertiary, 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 tertiary sidearm. Uh, put this in a scabbard or a holster, have some kydex, I don't know, whatever you want to do for this thing. Put it on a sling gun, a sling point at the back here um, and run it as a nice backup. You can obviously load this with the grip out or in. Nice and easy to load there, nice rack, nice sound. What I don't recommend doing with any of these shotguns is doing the old Arnie pump action in the, in the, hand, in the one hand. You're probably just going to break your loading arms, no matter if it's made of whatever material. Unless it's a real shotgun or an APS shell injecting shotgun, you're probably going to want to avoid doing that. So, if you're pulling the charge, charge handle back, um, you can see you've got a little selector here, just like the A70, and you can switch it side to side whether you want to load three or six rounds per charge. Um, very, very small window there, but it's nice and easy to do with your nail. If you've got gloves on, you might find that a bit hard, but what I'd recommend leaving it on three anyway, because when you do six, it messes up the amount of rounds that you have in a shell. Shells hold about 30 rounds. On the three shot setting, you've got 10 shots per shell, which is more than enough. So obviously if you switch it to six, it's gonna knock your rounds in a shell to how many shots you have out and just be unbalanced and we like to be balanced. So this was the one that I thought I would find the most enticing. Um, but the one that I've actually found the most enticing I will show you last. So just down to my right here are three that I prepared earlier. 
This one is your standard M870 Tactical. You've got like a short and front barrel there. You've got the gas M4 stock, which is very reminiscent of the angry gun style stock. You charge it in the, the bottom here. And when you charge these things with green gas, you can get as many as like 140 shots out of them if you're good, if, if you're preservative with it. Obviously, if you're just racking backwards and forwards, you're gonna get less because the gas is gonna expand and cool down much, much quicker. But this puppy right here, you gas this thing up and it does take a while to gas that thing up. M4 style gas blowback grip on here, so other grips will obviously fit on there if you want them to. Uh, you get a stock, like I say, with it as well, so you haven't got to buy anything extra. On the 870 Tactical version, you get a QD sling point, which is fitted on the left-hand side here, if I can get it off. And you can actually switch it to either side, so left is, you know, you're good to go. Uh, let, shotguns tend to be very lefty friendly because the, with the ergonomics of these things, they can just be operated from both sides. On all these shotguns, the safeties can be found just behind the trigger there, makes it nice and easy. Nice pump action sound there, and we've got a bit of gas in this one as well. On the tactical version, obviously with the six shells that come in the box, you've got space for six shells on the holder here on the side. 20 mil rail on the top there to mount your red dot sights or whatever you want. Uh, this one is probably the most well equipped for short to mid uh, length ranges. Um, I would be running this in CQB. I'd probably run this in some further engagements as well. You've got the extra barrel length there. The tactical version actually comes in two variants. So we've got a short and we've got a long. Both variants have the exact same inner barrel length, which finishes about here where the front sight is. So four metal shotgun, plastic grip, plastic stock, plastic charging grip, whatever you want to call it. I'm not a shotgun aficionado, but I probably should be. Same loading style tube on the bottom here. And you can hear that spring knocking around. What I would say is if you're competent enough to take these things apart, obviously, if you don't want to avoid your warranty, don't do that. If you come to enough to take these things apart, just get rid of that spring because that would annoy the hell out of me. You've got more than enough space to store your shells on here, so you don't need to be putting any shells in the gas tube. No one does that anyway. Nice break on the trigger with all the models here. What you want to do is when you're using it, just make sure you rack it all the way back and then forward to avoid sort of like half cocking it like that. But I'm not going to tell you how to suck eggs. So that is the short tactical version. Another one I prepared earlier. It's the long tactical version, and this is usually the one, especially when Secuta release these as well under their brand, that you got the most bang for the book for. Like the short tactical version, you've got, you know, it's a full metal shotgun, barring the stock, the grip, and the charging handle, pump action, whatever you want to call it. Again, sorry about that. But this is the longer version, so you've got the same in a barrel length, however you are, featuring a longer outer barrel, whether that would give you any plus over the short barrel, probably not in my experience. But you get an extended gas, uh, extended loading tube here on the front, extremely tactical look. On this one, you're getting two QD sling points compared to the one on the short tactical, and you can flip these over left to right hand side. Just like the short one, you get in a six shell holder here, Put the six shells you get in the box, and you get in this lovely long rail here. Loads of real estate there for red dots, lasers, torches. You're probably going to want to put a torch or a laser on this thing because it's you know CQB. Uh, again, with the short one, this is short to mid length engagements. Uh, where with the shorty one, you're probably going to be like short short length engagements because the barrel is obviously a lot smaller. You're going to have less power. Uh, come with some metal iron sights here. Actually not too bad, not as janky as Classic Armies, uh, but again, not the most incredible iron sights going. Nice pump action. Nice and smooth for a cheap shotgun. I mean, the price of these is really affordable for what it is. I mean, all this stuff you're getting out of the box, I can't remember the exact figure, but when I owned my 870 TM, I had pretty much everything you had on the, the shotgun here apart from the rail because I had the shorter version. Um, and I think we ended up pricing up this shotgun on a TM platform um, compared to the Secutor at the time. And the TM was like well over six, 700 pound where the Secutor, oh God, I can't remember the price now. Um, but it was cheap, cheap in comparison, good performing. And so far with these samples, I haven't had one out of the box that's been leaking or anything like that or any trouble, touch wood. And for the fourth one, which was the most surprising, I'm going to have to lean, lean down here. Oh. 
I am not a fan, and I would never have been a fan of gas or spring shotguns that have wood on them. Just wasn't my thing, you know. The uh, there's a few out there, spring ones that you can get with wooded handguards. I don't know if it's Simer or AK and such. Never really appealed to me whatsoever. However, taking this one out of the box, now this is your shorty with a wood grip, which is like a sawn off, sawn off style barrel, wood uh, pump action there as well. And I believe it is real wood. I don't think it's plastic. No, I think it is real wood. So you could probably strip this down and retreat it whichever way you want. This normally, if you was to show me a picture on a website, I'd be like, not for me. I want that shorty tactical version in my scabbard, or I want the shorter uh, mid-length tactical version, just for uh, obviously ease of use and the features that it has in it would do me well but this as soon as I took it out of the box and started playing with it oh boy this is the winner for me gas is stored in the grip wooden grip here all the same features as the others and you've got a wood pump action this is about the same in length when compared to the shorter tactical version in terms of barrel wise and action um, and you can't help the fact pulling this out of the box it just put a smile on your face because it is such a bad guy gun like if you're doing, whether you're doing CQB or whether you want to buy something, because let's face it, we do buy these things purposefully sometimes if we're doing milsim or I have in the past, I'm sure, sure you guys have, have as well. Um, and you'll go out and you'll get yourself perhaps like a bad guy gun if you're doing Op 4. Or, um, a good example is like some of these events like Gangster City was a good one, which is like gang related war, or what do you call it, war? Gang related fighting anyway, you've got gangs against you, you've got police forces, and this would fit in well with that because it does look like a bad guy style shotgun, doesn't it? It looks like that shotgun that he has, the bad guy has in shooter when he's got it taped to his hand, and this is really well balanced in the hand, um, so it really does have a place, and it is really cool to use because it's just a bad guy style gun. I really do like the really short tactical version if you're going for a secondary or tertiary weapon, um, but this is very, very cool as well, and it's the first wooden shotgun that I've picked up that I have liked. So that fanboyism out of the way, let's crack on with all the other bits. And all these shotguns, they all have the same loading feature where you have a little lever on the front here. Pull that, the window opens, push your shell in, push the door down, 10 shots on three, uh, three rounds per shot, and obviously you're going to get less on uh, six. So uh, very, very nice. Like I say, I'm not going to crone at these things because... It is a little bit difficult to chrono shotguns anyway. None of these that we've fired are coming out anywhere near the, the higher echelon of you know FPS readings. They're all safe. We've had none go over sort of the 330-ish on green gas. Of course, with these things, because of the way they work, if you did, if you are in a warmer climate, or if you're in a colder climate, you know, just switching out the type of gas that you use, um, you can up or low or up or down the power whatever I'm saying now um, so you could do that what I wouldn't recommend is going to like a red gas or a black gas uh, which is another reason why I'm not testing these tonight because the only gases that I've got next door is black gas and I really don't want to over charge over pressurize these at all as well as with the range stuff as well which uh, I know it's very uh, disappointing when we do the range stuff in the way that we do it but I just try and show you you know roundabouts what these things come out at 10 meters um, with these things what I can say is if the targets at 10 meters you're probably not going to miss um, within one or two rounds depending on whether they're behind cover or such like that great little fun to shoot if you've had experience with the secutors or the TM 870s before uh, you know what these can do if you're new coming into this and you want a gas shotgun and you don't want to spend the fortunes on say like a, a TM870 or the very very good TMKSG I've had one of those as well very very good uh, but a pain to load um, these are great because it's like I say you're not breaking the bank and Golden Eagle are one of these brands that we've probably stocked more over the last six or seven months um, just because they are a cheaper brand the quality probably isn't as good as some of the higher, well, it's not as good as some of the higher brands, but the value for money that you're getting, the ease of use out of the box, a lot of the electric guns we do, like we've just done the MCR, which is a great budget LMG style uh, M4 there, and they really have got a place in the market, and this is why we're starting to get a lot of these things in, because for the price, they're very, very good. 
So what I will go into next is if you're looking for a roll or you're looking at these four or five models that we do have or don't have because the, we had these in and they sold out straight away before I could even do the video. So when this video goes up, if we are out of stock, I really do apologize, but we'll be looking to get them in as soon as possible to so keep an eye on the website and the Facebook page. Um, but if you're looking at these and you want a gas shotgun, but you're not really sure what you want to go for, if you want shits and giggles and you want to have a, a laugh and you're one of those people that can just jump into anything and have a good time, I would honestly recommend the wooded version if you like that bad guy feel. This is really cool. And you could probably still fit this in a scabbard easily enough on your back, you know. It's not too long for the draw. So if you do want to run it as a secondary to something else, it's great. Uh, bad guys like we do, we will be doing the event in October, September time with the Gangster City event. Uh, I think we'd be in the Cholos again, so this would be perfect for that type of thing because it's a bad type, bad guy style gun, like I said before. Uh, there's nothing military about it, but uh, it's very, very cool. So that would be that one, very, very quirky. If you're looking for something small and compact and you want that three round spread or six round spread because with the short barrels on the six round spread we, you know you are seeing a lot more spread N not as accurate as the others but that's probably what you want to use it for this is great it's very small and compact you could probably put it on a sling again have it as a secondary or tertiary weapon and you load out uh milsim guys if you're running you know coalition sort of style loadouts you know in theater in the the, uh, the, the theater of war there's a lot of uh special forces and normal uh, armed forces that will use these things for breaching and stuff like that. So it's a very, very cool thing to have. Plenty of storage in there in the grip, not as much as the tactical versions, but it's nice and quirky. You've obviously got that fold out metal grip as well, which uh, if you're into your video gaming or you're into your movies, you will appreciate that very, very much. Uh, very, very cool. No iron sights, obviously, because you're literally just gonna be and pointing and firing this thing very very cool comes in black and tan loads of, like all of them real estate there if you want to put like laser etching and bits and pieces on there and uh, not sure if some of the upgraded bits and pieces that you can get for the TM870 would fit these but nice if they will let's put that to one side but if you're looking for one of these shotguns and you want to run it as a primary so let's say you're doing CQB a lot or you're doing sort of mid, uh, what do you call it, sort of uh, a mixed CQB, so you're doing, maybe a site's got a few buildings that aren't too far away, you don't really need to rely on range that much or all like, uh, you know, pinpoint accuracy that you get like with an AEG or so forth, and you want to run a shotgun, the two tactical versions are obviously going to be for you, we've got the short and the long version, the long version obviously has a much longer rail, and is, uh, if you're looking for some more real estate there, this is absolutely perfect, very menacing, very aggressive style look. But uh, if you want to keep it nice and short with the same uh, performance, like I say, same in a barrel length, these are going to be great. The M4 stock you get on here is absolutely superb because if you've got the M870, like I said before, and you want this style stock like the Angry Gun style stock that it is, you know, another £150 just for that tube, but then you've got to find a stock and a grip to put on there as well. It does start hiking the price up, so these are absolutely perfect. Um, right on there to put your red dot on, you're probably going to run one of those because uh, although the iron sight lines up with the gap in the rail, you're probably going to want something that sits a little bit higher. You're not going to be getting really low down. If you're doing CQB, because you're probably going to be wearing a mesh face mask as well, get a red dot on there. You've got your six shells. And the amount of fun you can have with these things is absolutely brilliant. And it has that extra coolness and enjoyment factor of racking that pump and firing each time and not having to worry about pulling a really strong spring back to get the same amount of power. Um, I'm not really sure what one of these suppressed would be like. It might be pretty cool. You obviously have to have a much, much wider suppressor. Uh, if you've done that before, let us know. We'd love to know how you got on with it. But technically all the gas is coming out of the barrel, so these could could be suppressed. Maybe that's something we should do in the future. So thank you very much for tuning in to this very quick review. Uh, like I said before, we haven't done the chrono because it's a difficult thing to do and there's different types of gases that you can use. And we haven't done the range test just because if you're using the shotgun, if you're pointing at a target like what we normally use at 10 meters, you're gonna hit it, you're gonna hit it. Um, 
onto the fact that I've only got black gas and I really don't want to over pressurize these and, and cause an issue. Like I said, I would stick to green gas as your green gases and your propanes as the maximum uh, sort of pressurized gas that you're going to put in these things. Um, but very, very good uh, items out of the box. I'm not exactly sure what Golden Eagle have done in regards to them being a version 2 per se the, than anything else. But from what I've seen, messing around with them and shooting them and putting rounds in and just having an absolute blast with these things. I've got, to, I've got to admit, the amount of guns that I've had brought home with me that, you know, I've been messing around with having fun with because, you know, this is a hobby at the end of the day. I enjoy doing it. Um, <laughs> these are giving me the most amount of fun just because they have that grin factor when you use the pump. Uh, very responsive on the triggers. Like I say, with this price, you are getting a few little QC um, minority bits and pieces here, there, like you see on this short tactical version. There's just a bit of a casting mark where they've had this out of the mold on the metal. Um, but for the price that you're paying, it's really not that bad whatsoever. So I hope I've cleared a few things up with this uh, product for you. There's three, four, five actual models that we do. As like I say, the shorty comes in a, a tan and black version. I know I'm wafting on now, it's quite late at the night. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Golden Eagle Gas Shotgun Series. I've enjoyed it, hope you've enjoyed it. You're not gonna be displeased if you're getting one of these in the post from us. Bespoke airsoft.co.uk um, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for tuning in.